amazed by how easy it is to make your own cheese at home. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, mmm. Right up at the top, I'm Afton Cyrus. And I'm Nolan, and we're gonna teach you how to make creamy, dreamy ricotta cheese. The ingredients that we use to make ricotta are salt, distilled white vinegar, and milk. And you can use any kind of milk, except UHT milk. UHT milk, what is UHT milk? <laughs> ultra high temperature. It means that it's ultra pasteurized, it's brought up to a higher temperature than the regular milk you find in the grocery store. This changes the protein structure so it makes it harder for it to clump up into cheese. You're also going to need to gather the following equipment. Cheesecloth, a colander, a large bowl, a large saucepan, a rubber spatula, plastic wrap, and an instant read thermometer. This is one of the rare recipes where there's way more equipment than ingredients. First thing we're going to need is cheesecloth. Cheesecloth is a woven cotton fabric and it has lots of little holes in it. And the holes are what allow the liquid to drain away and what's left behind inside is cheese. And that's why it's called <laughs> cheesecloth. <laughs> Not to be confused with your mom's hydrating face mask. So we have our cheesecloth. I've made it into a triple layer. We're gonna line it in a colander and let the edges hang over. Pop that in the sink. We're also going to put a large bowl by the sink. And we're setting ourselves up now, because later when we're cooking, there's a step that happens pretty fast. So we wanna make sure we're set up in advance. So first we're gonna take our eight cups of milk, put it in our large saucepan. You got it, you got it. <laughs> cooking is messy. Thank you. And put the salt in there too. We'll get this going over medium-high heat. Give it a good stir. We're going to cook this, stirring often, until the mixture reaches 185 degrees, and that should take about 12 to 15 minutes. What do you want to do to pass the time? Let's use our thermometer and check the temperature of our milk. Look at that, 185, right on the money. Nice. nice. All right, we're going to kill the heat. We're just going to take this and slide it over to a cool burner. I'm going to give you this vinegar, spatula. Slowly pour in your vinegar and give it a stir as you go. And you're going to see that the vinegar is going to cause the milk solids to clump up. <laughs> it goes. should take about 15 seconds as you stir. See them all clumping together? So we're going to let this sit for about 10 minutes to make sure that it fully separates. We're looking for solid curds on the top sort of liquidy way underneath. So it's been about 10 minutes, and we're gonna check to make sure that our mixture is fully separated. Here's your rubber spatula. I want you to just gently pull the solids away from the edge of the saucepan. You can see that the solids are all clumped together and that the whey looks kind of yellowish and watery. If the whole thing kind of still looked like milk instead of two separate curds and whey, then you can add one more tablespoon of vinegar and stir it in, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then it should fully separate. This is so cool. So now we're gonna drain our ricotta. So let's take the saucepan, be careful, it's heavy and hot. And then you guys got it poured right into the cheesecloth line colander. Wait for one minute to let some of the whey drain off. Rockery scissors. All right, I'll beat you again. You can see that it's still a little bit wet in the middle. Most of the whey has drained away. We're gonna gather up all the edges here, pick it up, put it right in the bowl, and that's fine. Some of the whey keeps draining out and that's okay. You wanna keep as much whey as you can with the cheese, and that's what helps make it stay nice and creamy. Now you can pull the cheesecloth out and leave the cheese in the bowl so you can kind of slide it out from under. Oop. And you can just get rid of the cheesecloth. And look at that, it's almost ricotta. You give it a stir. Just break up any of those big curds. Now we're gonna let it sit until it cools down to room temp, about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna pop it in the fridge. So it's been about 30 minutes and our cheese is at room temperature. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap. And then put it inside the refrigerator until the cheese is cold, about one and a half hours. Stir before you serve. So this is our finished ricotta. Take a ricotta and you can put dollops on pasta, pizza, or you can make ricotta toast. You can make a savory toast. You can make a sweet toast. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. It's like nice and flavorful. And then, I don't even words to describe it.